Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. It's time for more Masters of the World. I'm your Leo Scalvin. Where, as of the moment, I've created an ambitious new, uh, shall we say, project to get on equipment. I have gone through farming, literally scroll like I just started at the top here. I found any with a negative trade balance and started adjusting art for some parts. We're going to work towards trying to get a trade balance of, well, anything we produce, a decent trade balance in agriculture. And wherever I can, I will uh, do my best with industry. It's not easy though. Not easy at all. I think right now, as I've talked about before, I am particularly concerned. plastic industry, considering it manages to make up, you know, so much of our fucking uh, deficits here, so much workforce, yeah, I need to start with the plastic industry here, and work on increasing forces, start with 80,000, now, do you want to meet? Definitely. That's the war in Saudi Arabia. It doesn't matter. We're not actually at war with Saudi Arabia. Okay. So right now we've gotten a decent amount of growth this year, which is great. Unfortunately, it's uh, hurting the old inflation a little bit, but eh, that's what comes with it. Hard to keep uh, inflation under control. I'm actually wondering if the key interest rate does anything. That's really strange. I just kind of looked at the, uh, kind of looked at the thing. It's like, man, that sounds really loud. No, it's at the right volume. And so I reset it to the same volume, and oh well, fuck! All right, I apologize for us two minutes of this episode of very poorly audio. Good morning. Because I didn't come empty-handed. Sorry about that. In fact, I want sodas. Eh, yeah, sure, what the hell. I've given up trying to actually negotiate with them. Like, the, the, the ledger there feeds me far too uh, inaccurate information about their buying price for me to actually figure out. Oh wow, I can't actually see my uh, budget in total. <clears throat> so we have, what is that, 33 trillion in deficit? Mm -hmm. No, that's my budget, okay. I, I thought for some reason that was my debt. Damn. I was gonna say that was a lot of debt, but... Despite that deficit, I think we're actually kinda okay. Um, okay give me the uh, unemployment rate. Yeah, that's not ideal. Trying to get it any lower is proving harder. GDP per head of population is on the rise, though. Yeah, annual growth should be okay. An improved destroyer. Great. Just what I like to see. Finances are improving. It seems... I have just count. Yeah, I know. People are still pissed about my cuts. Uh, no one likes it when you cut down the... Uh, Cut down, uh, things. So, let's see. I'm gonna need taxes, obviously. Unfortunately, an inheritance tax of just 25% is not going to do it. I'm going to re up the inheritance tax. Rather than trying to get rid of, uh, inheritance taxes completely, I'm just going to try and use the inheritance tax for what I can. It reduces, it just cuts rich people down to size. Which is nice. 
Is there anything I need? Yeah, crime rate's kind of kind of tricky to deal with. Our sport. Yes, give them more than encouragement. Um. I mean, we gotta try, right? Ban the sale and possession of firearms. Completely. Might be worth it. I wonder why that costs money. Generally, you'd think that would actually save money. I mean, generally letting out prisoners will do that. The competition for eyes, excellent. Investing culture turns out to be worth it. Ivory Coast, of course. So, I'm gonna try something here. I'm gonna drop the key interest rate. Right now, inflation's going up at that rate. I have a strange feeling that, uh... <clears throat> shall we say... The inflation isn't actually tied to my interest rate at all. So much as it is tied to my growth rate. Good morning! Have a look at the Ivory Coast. What do you want? Yeah, I can definitely help you out with some pork. That's an alright price. Like I said, I can't tell what the actual prices are here. I'm not certain. Because, I, I mean, I come up even remotely close to that, and it'll tell me no. So. I'm willing to pretty much just agree to whatever at this point. Our sportsmen are ready. Of course, a few words of encouragement always help. Gotta keep up appearances and all that. International meeting. So look at the paper then, shall we? Oh, well, it was July 31st. Won't have the international meeting in it. A week from... Good. Alright. Well, it's been actually pretty calm for a while as we see the last treaty being 2022. Uh, wow. That's... So they're just slandering me at this point. It's like, yeah, sure, uh, here, we, we reached a trade deal. Like, come on. Have at least a little freaking uh, decency here. We're trading partners. You don't just go slandering me to the press. Oh, so I know, I really need to rein the press in. No. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Freedom of expression is important. I didn't come Okay. I accept. We're short on that, which uh, hurts our agricultural development, which I am trying to improve, so. We need more water. That I know. We need a lot of things, really. It's and, uh, let's see. 3.6k, that's a good start. We want, like, 80,000 if we can, though. Hey, cultural prizes. Well, something's on fire. We'll find out soon enough, I'm sure. And our millions, 2.5. Still growing. Trade balance is negative 1.8 million. Good, the chief of army likes me. Alright. Good. Alright. And now the inheritance tax is 75% when I did indeed want it to uh, be 100. Oh, yes, yeah, right. That will happen. Create us a nice budget access to make sure we don't go into too much debt. Yeah, barely any. Barely any. Apparently, that's a sizable freaking interest rate, though. That's concerning. Either way. Number of higher education students. That's that's really why I just don't fund higher education anymore. 
No, wait, I do. Why the hell am I? You know what? That's a great way to start, uh... Start things off there. There we are. Alright. Like, I have no higher education students. There is no reason for me to be funding it. I don't know why I have no higher education students, but... Uh... We have literally no school vacations. Doing my best with that. I mean, it might just be wise to, uh... See, but yeah, we only have 36, though. God damn. Okay, so that's something I need to work with, then. The building, housing, and roadway construction generates enough profit that I can safely do this. Employ as many people as you can there. And suddenly we'll be an industrialized nation. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Get about as many, a few million there. Alright. So, a little while ago I cut the inflationary rate. And as expected, that didn't actually... Or, cut the key interest rate, sorry. And as expected, that didn't actually change my inflation rate. If anything, if I cut it in May, like I think I might have. No, I cut it in August. So it hasn't even had time to take effect yet. Alright. Well, we'll keep going. Damn straight, I'm a model country. Learning industry results and law inheritance tax. Really? I mean, I, I, I just have trouble understanding, like, alarming industry results as a result of the fact I own industry own industry <laughs> uh actually that's not true i think there's like some random piece of energy i haven't technically nationalized yet i was looking around in here before i think it's like geothermal or something i don't know there's a form of energy in here i have yet to uh nationalize though i think yeah it was nuclear which is really strange considering i built the only nuclear plant You know, one nuclear plant does generate 25 billion profit. If I were to nationalize it, here's a question. How expensive are nuclear plants again? Like, uh, let, let, let's be mathematical about this, shall we? Let, let's be mathematical about this here. Uh, issue. Cost me, what, 108 billion for the construction of a nuclear plant. If I nationalize the nuclear energy program, that seems pretty reasonable, actually. Like, I, I can totally see that being a thing. It's, unemployment just went down that much. Dare I ask, and did it all go into the workforce for that or something? I mean, I'd believe it. Well, the quarterfinals, that's all right. That's all right. Okay. Yeah, public finance is not great, as it turns out. Mostly because I seem to be employing a lot of people. And as far as I can tell, uh, for the most part, like, profits from a uh, state-owned corporation. Ooh, anti-terrorism, that's always nice. As I predicted... Good. He's not happy with me. Agent is happy with me, though. Good. 179. We should be able to bring them down sooner or later. Luxembourg got 237 agents. Good. Keep it up. No. We're not going to increase the Secret Service budget any further. Really don't need it. So yeah, we just have to make it to the end of the year without going horrifyingly bankrupt. Alright. Oh. Hmm. That is a lot of debt. 
that we've mysteriously taken on. Interesting. Very interesting. Alright, so on the matter of company taxes... Uh, yeah, let's start with that. <laughs> uh, dear. And the deforestation tax, on the other hand, 11 billion. It doesn't actually help much. Let's start with, like, a company tax of, like, 5% or something. Yeah. Oh, dear. Sporting defeat, whatever. We're holding up. Dairy reimbursement isn't growing. And we have a surplus this quarter, I'm pretty sure. So we'll get to pay off a tiny chunk of the debt. <laughs> Hopefully a decent surplus. Is there anything else I can, like, cut from education? Because we legitimately do not have, like, higher education. Yeah, no, that seems to be it. The rest I should probably keep. Secondary teaching is good. Literacy rate still on its way down. One of my Go for the killing shot. Alright, I don't like it every time I see that public finances face. Yeah, the excess is dropping. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't really care. So. Revenue. I want 5% from that. Good. Yes, increased company contributions, tax rebalancing. Yeah, people seem to actually kind of hate me for not taxing companies that don't really exist. I think the only, like I said, I think the only one that exists right now is, like, nuclear power. <laughs> So whatever. As I predicted, seventy-eight percent. The systematic analysis of the habits of small group. That's a pretty sizable dismantlement. Uh, just throwing that out there. <laughs> oh wow! You know they don't have many men left when they start measuring it with point zero on the end. Good news. 16.9 billion carry surplus. Obviously not ideal, but uh, we're doing our best. Alright. Things I can probably look at cutting from the budget. Like, as far as I can tell, like, literally all this shit is baby shit. It doesn't actually cost all that much money. Impossible to say because part of the way through. Okay, that's actually 29 billion, alright. One billion. Modernization of medical equipment, six billion. Maternity, six billion worth. Oh jeez. Like I said, it's kind of getting hard to tell if there's anything there I can really cut. Like, coverage for work accidents looks like the best thing to cut, if anything. But it, with the excess I've got, I think I'm okay. Right now, I just have to avoid going bankrupt for a little while. <laughs> Shouldn't be too hard, right? Alright. In the working population, percent. Now... I have some trouble with this. I mean, I guess it's Did you technically possible, right? 22% annual growth. Excellent. We're getting massive growth year after year. Inflation's still steadily rising, but there's not much I can do about it with this kind of growth. Oh, company tax. Yep, I'm great. Don't care, and don't care. Okay. Yeah. Good. 
Apparently that actually reduced my access somehow. <laughs> I don't even know how. Either way, that's fine. Um, also, unfortunately, we've lost about like 50 billion in donations from other countries. Well, it's not, maybe not true. Maybe it's just the fact that our currency value is effectively doubled. We're getting donated the same amount, it's just a lot less because our currency is worth twice as much. It's an interesting thought. Our infiltrated. Hmm. Oh, well, it's gonna happen on occasion. After what we've done to them, I wouldn't be surprised if they uh, basically just shoot Did people on sight who try to join them. It's probably safer. All right, so we got a fairly reasonable little tax scheme going on here that I've expanded slowly. So, in the meantime, how goes this manpower? Now up to 60,000. That's good. Industry GDP. Been on the rise pretty well, I'd say. It makes up 25% of our GDP, which is pretty good. And, I mean, that's, you know, not terrible. Alright. So. Service. Hmm. Yeah, that's been falling. I think on the service sector side of things, we uh, have a positive trade balance for everything. So... Let me just go double check through. Well, everything that, you know, we make. We actually make compact discs. Why the fuck am I not making more of these? Would be a great place to start asking. Let's start with that. Because apparently that's a thing. Courier transportation. Internet services, yep. Yeah. All right. Undoubt. All right. We're doing okay. Like I said, we're holding here. Good. Public finances are fine. Quit your whining. I'm pretty sure anyway. Like we, we're fine on the excess. Growth rate just keeps spiking up every so often. <laughs> yeah. Building housing and roadway construction. We're really working and pushing that as hard as possible. Our infiltrated agent was... Yeah, I'm not surprised. We keep talking about this with 39 people. 40 now. He stands out like a sore thumb. With any luck, we might just eventually be able to dismantle them, though. Establish an integration policy. We have one. I'm just thinking, like... We actually have a lot of immigration here. This is like 894,000 people. That's almost a million per annum. That is not ideal. That's a lot. Uh, we have 150, 160 million people right now, yeah? That's what I'm concerned about. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Slowly on the increase. So, yeah. Wow, that's falling. That's concerning. Yeah, not great. I'm beginning to question if, uh, you know, that many people is a great idea. <laughs> that is a lot of immigration. Like, more than I probably should be getting. But then again, I'm starting to realize that my HDI is going up. And I'm actually a lot better off than countries are now. At least, slowly but surely, we're getting there. Uh, where do I check my HDI anyway? I feel like I should know where. Like, I've checked it before, you know? How the hell's rate of unemployment increase? I have trouble believing that, in a, to be honest. Yeah, HDI, yeah, yeah. It's actually increasing. We're up to, uh, we're, we're going up. So, who knows. We're still at 0.38, which is freaking terrible, but, uh, yeah. There's our immigration rate, which is concerning. 0.5% a year is a lot. 
On the other hand, we seriously need to do something. Thankfully, yeah. Um, it's falling. <laughs> that's, that's the only good news about that. That is still 8% child mortality rate. That is unacceptable. I think most people will agree. But... One of my men... Deal the killing blow, then. Deal it. We are lacking in things like centers for education. Right now, the actual largest thing holding us back is trying to build enough of them with our manpower reserves, which are simply inadequate. We need literally millions in manpower to get anything done. Which is really hard to come across. It's uh, definitely not an easy task. Alright. Our scientific Bring me something of use. You're with me to the death, and you want to meet. Deal. Okay. So yeah, hopefully we can uh, get rid of this last terrorist organization here. Once and for all. With only 40 people left, we might just be it might just be enough to trigger a fatal blow. We can hope. We can hope. I still don't know how the hell we've ended up so stable compared to literally every other African country ever. Good morning! Alright, what can I do for you? Soda? Mm-hmm. Want me to buy some soda? I'm okay with this. I mean, really getting any anything that I can import really is good. It's a secured line. How does that even happen? Like, that would require, like, something to collapse in my industry. And it physically can't because it's all owned by me, and the workforce is literally controlled by me. How we get that many people losing their jobs and the GDP dro dropping like that, I just don't know. Uh, let's have a quick look here. Like, what sector actually suffered from this? Okay. Kinda. Kinda. So it seems to have been primarily the agriculture sector, but all of the sectors seem to have some problems. Alright. So. Yeah. Plastic. I really wish I could pull up, like, the trade balance for plastic here. I really do. I'll just see, like, that graph. So right now it's minus 212. 80,000 manpower. Still gonna grow by another tenfold. The good news is, we've made it to December and we aren't bankrupt yet. So I'm hoping the recalculation of uh, our nationalized profits will do good for us. Yeah. State revenue, huge. On the other hand, I could do something crazy. Like, uh... The preparations... Yeah, we'll spend Christmas with people. And we'll meet Luxembourg, sure. Oh, a cold snap in Russia. Interesting. Hmm. Like I said, the world's actually been uh, relatively calm. We're about to go through a year with literally no wars. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to figure out why, personally. I just don't get what the hell happened. And why a mysteriously large number of people are becoming unemployed. Like, we we lost GDP mysteriously, and a lot of it, but I can't put my finger on why. Could it have been in, like, a supply shortage? It could happen. It could happen, I suppose. Deplorable state of housing. Yeah, I know. Good morning! Alright, what's the deal? Tobacco. You wanna buy some? I think I can uh, help you out with that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This is a good price. Alright. Tourism professionals complain. Big poverty. 
Satisfactory report with regard to treatment of deep poverty. Excellent. Good to hear. What is our uh, deep poverty rate in actual numbers? Uh, that'd be found here, yeah? No. Elsewhere. Um, probably population or something. Yeah. Whatever the hell happened here, I don't know. <laughs> but, you know, whatever. Okay. Overcrowded prisons, I'm sure. Alright, GDP in billions. Yeah. So. I'm doing my best with this. Hard to see, though. Maybe, like, the, the sectors do need some layoffs. Like, I can't help but notice that the productivity index kind of has been falling in some areas. Improved tank. Hey, then you know what? I'll take that. That's better than improved ships that I've been getting so far. It's, it's hard to complain about that. <clears throat> Alright. So let's end off to this year. Oops. Well, I guess we're doing that. Uh -huh. We appeared at a religious holiday. Excellent. Excellent. December 29th. December 30th. December 31st. Alright, January 1st. Unhealthy housing situation, I know. Alright. So, Sector's Nationalized Profit is mysteriously appearing twice and is dropped. Yeah, that's not good. Here are the GDP and growth figures for the last year. As you know, these are the most important result. economic... Jesus Christ, this is a stupidly high result. Uh, Central African Republic. Yeah, we can meet with you. Alright. Yeah, you two can fight. Okay, so. Clearly, something is not working well in uh, industry. Well, I don't know. Plastic continues to grow somehow. But that GDP isn't increasing some for some reason. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why. I'm really not. Hmm. Trade balance in billions. Yeah. I'm actually also looking at automobile construction. Like this is probably gonna prove a big issue. Isn't it? Yeah. This is the kind of thing that needs to be uh, adjusted. Trying to get enough jobs going is hard. I'm starting to wonder if it's tied to my urbanization rate. Like, the reality might just be that I have employed my entire urban population in factories and service. And that the remainder of my people are just living out on fucking farms. <laughs> or something similar. It, it, like, I'm starting to think that. Being hard to deal with. Alright. Increasing. It's increasing. Ever so slowly. Unfortunately, population growth is down. Number of homeless people. 396,000, you say? Okay. You know, like, how much, uh, how much can I build with this? Much made. Uh, oops. Three hundred and ninety-six. So I would need to build this a hundred times over, taking about eight years in order to house everybody. This is why I really need to work on my, you know, freaking manpower here. Like with the available manpower that I have, I used to have like five times that amount, which would be an improvement in the situation. Um, like a two-year program, definitely a lot more doable than a freaking ten-year program. Yeah, not sure what this the hell this was. But we're working on it. How's debt doing, by the way? We still have a lot of it. That is the answer. Good morning! 
Natural gas. Yeah, everybody seems to produce the exact same amount of natural gas. Which, as far as I can tell, is a weird bug that's cropped up. I mean, why the hell not? Might as well buy it. At this point, I'm looking at trying to get, uh, you know, some sale contracts. Whatever, just give me January 9th. Because my favorite report comes in on that day. Excellent, thank you. Mm-hmm. It rises to 1.5 trillion. Mm-hmm. Is there less? No. Yeah, I know. Hope that levels off inflation a little bit. Really would like that. Really would like that. Okay. Good. Good. I need to look at uh, potentially, like, selling industries, I think. I'm just not able to get the kind of GDP growth I need. There are some that I might, like, consider hanging on to, but in reality... Oh, wow, we have a negative trade balance on that. It's one of, like, our largest industries. <laughs> yeah, I get to work with that. Do it. Create jobs. Get people employed already. I'm tired of sitting around with like a 34% unemployment rate. Good God. That's my real problem. Like, uh, tobacco. We have a positive trade balance in that now. We didn't before. Tea. And now we didn't. We've been having problems with. Manpower, 72,000. Yeah. It's got a long way to go on that. Sugar beets are pretty. Was it sugar beets? Yeah, it was. There, it's in here somewhere. There it is. Kind of a troubling one. Veggies, big deal. But, uh... I should consider, like, starting to subsidize that. There are a lot of these that I could probably subsidize and grow myself. But, you know... The trade balance actually is not too bad. Like, we're importing 60 billion. I'm trying to figure out where most of that comes from. And I think most of it's just tea or something now. There's got to be something around here. In which we are importing something ridiculous. Fish. It's fish. So 21 billion in fish. 3 billion in coals. I'm really working on that. Seven billion in bananas. Manpower two point five eight six. That's still growing. I'm hoping that we will uh, produce more bananas soon. Yeah, it's hard to get all that shit together though. I need to definitely start growing vegetables. I think. I want to try and become agriculturally self-sufficient in my entirety. If I can do that, I might consider just selling off the industry and services and just raising taxes. I'll keep control of the energy industry though. Uh, it's, it's just really hard to compete with the uh, vast quantity of cash that I can get from, say, nuclear electricity. If I were to nationalize it, of course. Question is, can I take on another $150 billion in debt? I'd really like not to. Um, that being said, it's definitely within the realm of possibility. <laughs> I think instead it's better I just start taxing people again. <laughs> Or drop the minimum wage. Dropping the minimum wage might work. Yeah. Save me 64 billion there. Though that's not really true. Um. Yeah. Quality of life and the whole of the population. I got the thing. I want to keep purchasing power high. But it's hard. <laughs> I need money. I can't afford to pay everybody this much. Oh, jeez. I think I did set the minimum wage too high, though. Like, industry jobs were generating, you know, minimum wage of 500. And I set it to, like, 1,000, so. We'll see. We shall see. It's a bit of a slump. 
How's the world economy doing? That might explain some things, if I'm lucky. Uh, comparative maps. Population, 169 million. Yeah, we are the ninth most populated uh, country here. We'll overtake Bangladesh eventually. And Pakistan. Nigeria. Yeah. I mean, three through, like, nine is a class. It's... Anyway. Uh, economy. I'm interested in everyone's, like, growth rate right now. So everyone's growing, ever so slightly, with me actually being pretty much on the top of the bell curve, being one of the fastest growing economies in the country, or in the world, rather. Of course, I'm the fastest growing economy in the country. Uh, whatever. We're doing good. We're doing good. I'm just not sure where to proceed from here. I'm not sure, really, if communism's helping my industry. It doesn't seem to be doing all that much. I'm trying, but it's hard is hard. Ah, oh, well. Like I said, I think right now my first goal is subsidize and build up my remaining agriculture industries if I can. Seems like a decent enough idea. Ah, oh, well. Thank you everybody for watching. This has been your lovely, lovely host, Galvin, signing off.